Air Fryer Cookie Pie. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo Max 12. Hello, everyone. First thing you need to do is take a half a cup of butter, put it in a small saucepan, and start to cook it over medium heat until it starts to simmer. Keep stirring and cooking and eventually it'll start to foam up quite a bit and then when you stir it you'll see that there's some brown bits on the bottom and that's when you know that it's done. Then pour it into a bowl and then let it cool completely until it's solidified. I just put mine in the fridge. Then you'll take that solidified butter, put it in a large bowl, add to that a half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, and you're going to cream those things together by hand or with an electric mixer until they're well combined. Then add in one egg and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then stir that together. I ended up switching to a whisk halfway through just so that I thought it would do a better job. And it did. And just keep whisking until you get a nice smooth mixture. Then to this, add in one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt if your butter was unsalted. My butter had salt in it, so I didn't add any salt. Then you're going to stir in one cup of what the recipe calls brickle toffee bits. I, I thought those sounded like the score bits we have available here in our stores. So those are little score bits, little toffee bits. Take half of that mixture, put it into a bottom of an eight inch baking dish that's been lined with parchment paper and lightly greased put half of it in spread it out on the bottom and then just bring some of that dough up the edges of the pan as well then we'll add in one half a cup of nutella spread the nutella around to about a half an inch from the edge and then for that second half of cookie dough you're going to flatten it out into a rough eight inch diameter circle Then you're going to pick it up and put it on top of your pie as a top crust and then go around the edges and just try to seal the edges together as well as you can. I kind of took the bottom crust and lifted it up a little bit and then just tried to pinch it with the top crust to make a nice little seal. Then you're going to put it in your air fryer. Preheat your air fryer for five minutes. Then you're going to set it for 350. And the recipe said to cook it at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. So I put it in for 12 minutes. And it said until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. And as you can see, the toothpick was coming out pretty clean. So I let it cool a little bit. And then I decided to unmold it. So I flipped it over. And it didn't want to release very well. So I had to kind of tap it a little bit and I ended up breaking it a little bit. Well, when I peeled off that parchment, I realized that that bottom crust was raw. That cookie dough is raw. So I put it back in the pan. I covered the top with aluminum foil to keep it from browning too much. Put it back in the air fryer for another five minutes and I took it out again, took another look and that crust is still not done. Like it's really soggy. So I decided to put it soggy side up back in the pan and then put it back in the air fryer for another five minutes. And that did the trick. The bottom crust finally was done and I could have left it just the way it was, but I flipped it back over so that it would, the top was the top again. Not that that matters a whole lot. Now I could probably could have put it back in the air fryer just on a piece of parchment. I probably didn't have to put it back in the pan. So if you decide to make this, I recommend that you cook it for 10 minutes, take it out of the pan, flip it over, put it back in the air fryer for an additional six or seven, and that way the whole thing will get nicely browned up. This is delicious. The cookie is nice and crunchy. It's got a little bit soft in the middle. It's got the Nutella, of course, which makes everything better. And those little toffee bits in there add a nice little toffee flavor to the cookie. So. Despite the problems I had with it, it actually is a quite an interesting dessert. I hope you give this one a try. I have a few air fryer recipes, including 
This one, air fryer, peanut butter, molten brownies. This one's good. Thanks for watching.